May, did the BBC choose London-born May Muller as they are Eurovision contest uh, for the Liverpool Eurovision finals. Semi-finals just started last night and we've got more coming up before the big final on Saturday night. London, well, London, London, Britain hosting, Liverpool hosting on behalf of the country for uh, Ukraine, who of course won last year but unable to host because of the Russian invasion. But why have we got a, a contestant for us who states that she hates our country and that she's reportedly applied for a German passport so she can have an EU right to live in Spain? Let's talk to Nigel Pauly, who's a media commentator. Good morning to you. Morning, Julia. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, I know all this has come out before, that, you know, she's, she's, she's very political. She's a left-wing activist. She talks about the Conservative Party as racist, elitist. She campaigned for Jeremy Corbyn. Um, she expressed, you know, no sympathy for the Prime Minister Boris Johnson when he was hospitalised with COVID. Which, oh, my God, I mean, you have to be an animal not to sympathise with anybody who was actually in ICU with COVID. Um, she's tweeted, I hate this country in a tweet about the free school meals row and now she says she doesn't even want to stay here she wants to go and live in spain she wants a, a foreign passport i mean why on earth would the bbc have chosen this woman as our candidate because i've heard her sing she ain't she ain't so good a singer that you'd think oh she ain't beyonce put it that way that you'd go i don't yeah. care what her views are why did they choose her well, I, I guess if you look at last year we had sam Ryder, who was like a credit to the country really oh, who totally, totally embraced it uh, did lots of extra stuff and you know came second he, he probably would have won were it not for for ukraine I, why they did it clickbait uh they're looking for you the bbc is edgy a lot of the people at the bbc uh spoiler alert actually don't like britain very much and a lot of things we stand for that's that's a fact they would see she's has there ever been a picture of this girl without having her tongue out yeah for one. i mean punks were doing it sort of 45 years ago it's it's, it's not edgy anymore yeah but i'd say you to know, my teenage daughter grow up if she did this well that's interesting also these aren't like odd comments i'm not a big fan of the whole sort of uh, offense archaeology that goes on on social media she's been asked you know you tweeted i hate this country do you want to distance yourself from that when she said in an interview no because that's how i felt uh, she goes, I regret people taking these comments out of context. She said, um, me saying I hate this country is not ideal as I'm representing this country, but I love where I'm from. It's a privilege to be born here. Um, people are entitled to, I mean, I love yeah. my country. I'm also entitled to criticise my country and the government and, and all of that. That's part of the freedoms we have in why this country is so great. But she doesn't seem, I mean... It just feels like she's, you know, I don't think because you've got prominent political views, you shouldn't be chosen as Eurovision candidate. But yeah. but she, let's face it, if she'd expressed views that were considered to be more on the right wing, not a chance that she'd be chosen. That's right. Can, can you imagine if we had an England footballer, a football captain who led, was going to lead the team out in the World Cup and said, I don't really like England, I'm going to go and live in Spain. It just wouldn't happen. There'd be outcry, wouldn't there? It, the fact that the BBC haven't reined her in means that the BBC are happy for her to say this stuff because they want to get clickbait, they want to get yeah. attention on social media, which is really what life is all about these days yeah. for people at the BBC. Indeed. But also, I mean, again, yeah. people talk about it. People say, oh, it's the greatest singing contest. It's a big, massive event. It's a music festival. It's not. It's not a singing contest. It's a performance. It's entertainment. It's a big camp, camp, uh, you know, festival. And it's brilliant. And I'll be hosting my Eurovision party on Saturday night. But, but I'd like to have someone who I could get behind and say, yeah, she's singing for us. But, yeah, I'm not entirely sure many of us are going to feel that way on the night. Really good to talk to you, Nigel Pauly, media commentator. Thank you very much for that.